I'm gonna try to beat a hardcore Nuzlocke of Pokemon X with a twist. In addition to the standard rules, I've asked eight of my friends across the Pokemon content creation sphere to provide me with eight different rules. Every time I get a gym badge, I unlock a new rule, and the rules all stack on top of one another. So we're probably gonna get some weird interactions, and by the end of the run, it's gonna be chaos. Let's do it. All right, listen, I'm gonna come out and say it. Professor Sycamore is the hottest male professor we've ever had. You cannot change my mind. Okay, you know what? If I have to talk to you to get my starter, and you have to give me a nickname, then you all can call me Lord Vivid because thanks to established titles, the sponsor of today's video, that's a legitimate thing I can go by. Let me thank them real quick. Established titles is based on the historic Scottish custom of calling landowners lords and ladies, and it makes an excellent last minute gift to anyone who's kind of hard to shop for or people that love more eccentric gifts. Each title pack grants you one square foot of dedicated land on a private estate in Edelston, Scotland, and an official certificate with a crest. Your certificate will even have a unique plot number so you know exactly where your land is. This is mine. And once you have yours, you can officially include the title Lord or Lady on your credit card, plane ticket, or even dating profile if you're really feeling it. I also love that they work with global reforestation charities like One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future, and they even plant a tree for every order. So you're not only gifting someone a title, you're also making a change. Finally, something I just think is neat is that the first 200 people to use my link to purchase a title pack will effectively have their plots right next to mine, meaning we can all be lords and ladies of our own little kingdom and just shiny hunt and battle all day. So whether you want a really unique gift or maybe you just want the title of Lord or Lady for yourself right now is the best time because Established Titles is running an early Black Friday sale and all title packs are up to 80% off. Plus, if you use code VIVID at checkout, you can get an extra 10% off. So head on over to EstablishedTitles.com slash VIVID to get your new title. It helps support the channel and the planet. Thank you so much Established Titles for sponsoring this video and helping me to continue to make content. All right, time for what we've all been waiting for. We gotta pick a starter. I can go with the Firefox, a water frog, or a, a little seed groundhog thing. As always, I'm gonna have a theme for my nicknames and I'm nicknaming Chespin Chiodo. So, if you know the theme, let me know in the comments down below. Good luck. Okay, first encounter and a Weedle. Maybe the Weedle will put in some some sick work. And please give me something. And second encounter is this is we have we have a, a Weedle and a Caterpie. This is a, a great opener. <laughs> Bro, our team is kind of popping off right now. They're really doing it. All right, you see this Pikachu here? I've, I've got a joke for it. How do you get a Pikachu on a school bus? Pokemon. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Three, our Route 3 encounter. There's some good stuff here. A Bidoof. Great. That's a Bidoof cut. I will try to contain my excitement. Route 22 encounter is... Oh yes, the Lit Leo. I've wanted to use this thing for so long. I just think it's cute. Okay, you know what? I talk shit about the bugs, but hey, we've got a we've got an early game evolution into the powerful uh, Metapod. All right, and for the back to back, we have the Weedle. We have the Weedle Caterpie uh, evolution hour. So it's a good day. All right, first gym, baby. I can feel that first roll already. And for the three peat, our little baby Caterpie evolves into a big, beautiful butterfly. This is actually pretty good. All right, you know, for everything negative I said about the early game bug Pokemon, at least I now have two fully evolved Pokemon on my team. And they might not be the strongest, but they are fully evolved, and that's that's pretty neat. It's time to get the first gym badge. Viola, you don't stand a chance. Let me introduce you to one super secret move that you might have not heard of, and that is roll out. Chiodos, roll out one, roll out two, roll it back, roll out three, don't miss. All right, the next rollout's base power is like 120 or something. Oh, it used Harden because you're not smart. Look at that. <laughs> Gym battle number one, done. With the first badge down, it's time for our first rule. And this one comes from the person who I would say inspired me to start doing hardcore Nuzlocke on YouTube at all. And that is uh, Mr. Flygon HD. So what, what do you have for me, uh, Mr. Professor HG? You're a doctor now, right? Dr. HG? Hi everyone, I'm Flygon HG and I do hardcore Nuzlocke here on YouTube. So for this first rule of Vivid's challenge, I've decided that he has to head straight to Route 5 and catch a Skiddo. And this Skiddo has to lead the party at all times, it is the party leader. He can also not evolve Skiddo, and if Skiddo dies, Vivid has to spend one full hour riding Skiddos on Route 12 in his or her honor. Good luck, Vivid. Have fun. Okay, so I have to have a Skiddo at the top of my party at all times as the party leader. I can't evolve it. And if it dies, I have to ride a Skiddo forever. Why can't I evolve it, Dr. HG? What is the purpose of that? Professor Sycamore, look, I know you're super handsome, but I also know that if I run your fade, you'll let me steal one of your starters. So let's fight. You let off with Bulbasaur. I probably should have changed my lead here, but it's okay. Just a quick few embers to down the Bulbasaur. Vine Whip the Squirtle. And a nice little rollout kiss. 
to finish off the fight. It is round two to pick a starter, and normally I would use Bulbasaur because it is the best Kanto starter. I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling the turtle. Hi, I'm Paul. Okay, so the team is looking stacked right now. It's pretty good, but also uh, we have to go catch a Skiddo. Look, I've played through these games a lot lately. I've done a lot of hardcore Nuzlocke and X and Y since I started uploading them. I to this day could not tell you what Lysander's plan is. Yeah, this dude for sure needs therapy. For sure, 100%, no doubt in my mind. We all do, but him especially. I was trying to make my trainer look hot by getting a haircut, but instead, I made him look terrible. If a Lucario charged me up and just started sniffing at me, I'd, I'd pee myself a little bit. I'd pee. All right, Dr. HG, this one is for you. This is gonna be breaking nickname themes, but uh, I'm gonna name this thing Skiddo HG. It just, it just fits, you know? It just fits. Okay, just casually dropping Skiddo off at the front of my party where it's gonna remain for the rest of the run. My little baby boy is evolving. He's becoming just more of an acorn or more of a seed. I've always felt like the Snorlaxes in games that are blocking your way to progress are very representative of who I am as a person. All right, Rot6, all I want is a Kecleon. Please give me the Chameleon Boy. Yes! I love Kecleon. I don't know why. It's just a little Chameleon and it's so cute. Okay, Route 7 encounter. I waited till I could get out of the flowers to get this. What do we got? Okay. The good news about catching that stupid bug is now Siren is evolving, becoming just you know, less of a less of a squirrel turtle and more of a what what is war turtle? All right, connecting cave encounter is a whismur. I mean, you can get an axe you here, but we'll we'll take a whismur. You know what? I like the little dude. He like yells and stuff. We just got a whismur out of the cave, and it could have been so much better. There's so much surprise, Johnny. Zangoose, come on, Zangoose, stay in the ball. Come on. Nice. Ooh, a Sanda. I was kind of hoping for the electric lizard, but this Pokemon's actually very good. There's so many cool encounters in Glittering Cave. Give me something dope. Okay, that's one of them. I love this thing. Okay, so we just saved this little scientist man, grab a fossil, go revive a Pokemon, and then now we can finally take on the next gym. There's just so much between Gym 1 and Gym 2 in this game. All right, Route 110 counter, let's go. Show me the goods. Nice. This Pokemon is so good. Having three immunities, I love it. Grant, it's time to get rocked. Okay, so Grant leads with Littlefoot, and Littlefoot can absolutely thrash Skiddo HG here because it has a refrigerate boosted takedown. To enter Shikari here, we're immune to the Thunder Wave, and Emery is the ticket here. Emery's the ticket. What? Whoa, why did you go for takedown? Okay, so Swords Dance is the ticket here. And then you're gonna go for oh, you go for Rock Tomb. Why didn't you go for Thunder Wave? Whatever, Rock Smash. Knock this thing out. Your little baby Tyrannosaurus Rex, but it's not quite as nice as mine because it's yours. Vine Whip for the second badge, easy. Easy. Even leading with the bad matchup. Two badges down. And you know what that means? We get another roll. And this roll comes from none other than Joey PokeAimMD. He is a very good competitive battler. Some may say one of the best, so I'm terrified what his rule is gonna be because it's probably gonna make the game exponentially harder. But I will have you know that one of my claims to fame as a competitive battler is that I knocked Joey out of the playoffs for WBE season three by beating him. Did I get some hacks? Yes. Did I play well? Also yes. Is Joey a wildly better player than me? Yeah, triple yes. But still, uh, yeah, we won that one and we take that. He's throttled me every other game we've played, but we take that one dub. What's up everybody? I'm PokeMMD and I'm here to make Vivid's life harder in this Nuzlocke. You cannot use any super effective moves throughout the rest of your challenge. That means if you're a water type and you're fighting a fire type, you better be going for either neutral or not very effective attacks the entire way. Enjoy the Muzlocke, man. We have Zangoose and it's it's a normal type and maybe that is enough because normal's not super effective against anything. But this rule is terrible because it's just gonna make the game take longer. But all right, I see you. I see you, Joey. I will no longer use super effective attacks. Karina, I would really appreciate it if you would just stop showing up with your two Lucarios. And also, I don't wanna fight them right now, but I guess we'll do it. Yeah, we got Fallout Boy and he's a ghost type and he's immune to all of your attacks. So you're just gonna spin your wheels and do nothing while I shadow punch you down, even though we're wildly under leveled for this fight. Route 11 encounter, please be something good. I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm gonna close my eyes. Oh, I can't hear. What is it? Is this just a wild encounter here? 
No, Hariyama was on the docket. Okay, we take that. Reflection Cave is terrifying because of all the Wobbuffets roaming around, but I need my encounter. The little jelly baby. You know what? I like this thing. I, I'm excited about this one. Silver lining to this cave, Inner Shikari is evolving, and that's fantastic because Crocorock is a big upgrade. Now we have to fight Serena for the right to fight Karina in her gym so that we can, I don't know, wear a bracelet or something in the future. Little dance with the swords. That's one slash, two slashes three slashes and that's an easy Serena fight now we just have to go and absolutely throttle Karina okay I have two things I need to rant about before I fight Karina one Flygon your rule is absolutely terrible I don't know if you know this because it's certainly something I didn't know past gen 6 when a Pokemon is past the level that it would evolve at it gains a boosted amount of experience so Skiddo is essentially always going to be over leveled unless I just constantly switch it out and turn the XP share off my Skiddo is over leveled so it's gonna be a dead Pokemon I can't use it but I have to lead the party with it because it's in the rule so it's just gonna lead the party and then I'm gonna switch it out on the first turn Two, Corinna sucks now just bear with me on this next part I've learned about myself that I have a really good ability to tell when someone likes and dislikes a chicken Caesar salad roll the clip Kind of look like the kind of guy who would crush a chicken Caesar salad confirm or deny it. put it in a wrap you got it. what makes you think that I have a good sense about people that love chicken Caesar salads <laughs> <laughs> the world's shittiest superpower. Oh my god, not getting into the Justice League with that one. Now it's not a shitty superpower, it's actually a very relevant one because if you don't like chicken Caesar salad, I don't f with you. And Corinna does not like chicken Caesar salad, I can just tell. Let's demolish her. So we have to lead off with Skiddo into Hermian food, but the battle is basically already over. Let me demonstrate what I mean. As soon as I switch into Fallout Boy, she no longer has any attacks that can hit him. The only attack she has on her entire team of three is Rock Tomb, which I resist. We'll just Shadow Punch here for a little bit, but the battle's over. That's me and Fu down, Machoke down. Now all she has left is her Ace Halucha, and guess what? It can't hit me either. You are really, really soft against ghost types, Karina. And that's Halucha down, easy third badge. And we're simply scared. Skipping the Karina Mega Lucario fight. It's stupid, I'm not gonna use it. My extreme distaste for Karina made me forget that after beating her, I unlocked a new rule, and this one is from Pragmagic, one of the best fake mon creators on the platform. And let's see what the rule is. Hey, Vivid, how's it going? It's, it could be hope better. The run's going well, buddy. <laughs> um, I hope you find this rule as funny as okay. I do. Anyway. Funny, good. Hey everybody, my name's Brandon, also known as Pragmagic here on YouTube. I do Pokemon and Fakemon content, Correct. primarily Fakemon, very good. so if that interests you, it's I would fun. love for you guys to check you it should. out. Anyway, for Vivid's rule, I think the new rule should be that each time he encounters an important trainer, okay. whether that be a rival, don't, don't gym leader, hard. elite form member, hard. anything like that, anything of importance, he should do a smash or pass <laughs> of their team as he's fighting Come them. On. Hopefully this adds some levity to your run and uh. you are not the one getting smashed. Anyway. Good luck. Bro, I, I am, I am deceased. <laughs> Our little jelly baby is evolving into a slightly bigger jelly baby. I will not be coming back and writing any of you for an hour. It's not happening. Skiddo HG is staying alive. Maybe. All right, Ramos, you've got a massive pair of scissors and I really don't want you to use them on me once I use some non-organic pesticides to absolutely body your plants. Okay, jump Jumpluff, pass. I'm not smashing this thing. Also, I can't use the Skiddo still. It's way over leveled. Oh no, Millionaires was not the right play. You're gonna use Acrobatics. Oh man, that was such a bad play. We're setting up the Stealth Rocks and now we're gonna start switching things in and out. Don't say it, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. Smash, I mean, come on. This thing looks like a super gulp. It's not my fault, Weeping Bell was designed to be a throat goat. I cannot help it. That's three swords dances. We're gonna one-shot everything from this point. Go goat, more like go gone. Not even go goat can stand up to the plus six slash. And then Jump Puff just dies to the rocks. Oh, go goat, uh, pass. All right, plant badge acquired. Fourth badge means we get a fourth rule. Rule four comes from John, AKA PM7, formerly known as Pokemon7. We met back in the days doing Pokemon Draft League, and he's been a really good friend and also someone I've looked up to and asked for a ton of advice from since I've started this whole YouTube thing. I just wanna say thank you to him very much for all that, and now let's see what your rule is, buddy. So I heard you need to overcomplicate a Pokemon I need to play through and you came to the absolute right That's guy. That's why I asked the you. The rule I'm gonna give you is whenever one of your Pokemon faints, its no. primary typing is dead no, for the playthrough. he's done this before. Portal faints, water types gone, can't use them, good luck. That's so hard, and it makes every death so much more intense. I can lose a whole type. If I run out of types, I lose the run and have to reset. That's not an option. I'm not replaying through all of this. John, this roll is brutal. So unfortunately, we have to do the power plant now, and this part of the game is mega boring. Thanks to a little editing magic, you can skip right to the end. That's the power plant done. Let's go get the fifth gym badge. 
Can anyone tell me AZ or Az or however you pronounce his name? Can anyone tell me his canonical height? How tall is this man's? Just a rough guess, eight foot six. All right, Clement, I think my team is about to shock you. It's not a good joke. Listen, I understand these jokes aren't top tier, but the gameplay is, so we've got that going for us. Once again, leading off with the Skiddo that we can't use, but this time, I think we'll shake it up and switch out into uh, into Fallout Boy here. Under Oath gets to come in and finally do something, because color change makes it to where I should be resistant to most stab moves for most of this fight. Good old Screech into the Shadow Claw Gambit still does a lot more than I expected. Inner Shikari on the Thunderbolt. We take a quick attack. That, why does quick attack do so much damage? Crunches a two shot, crunches a two shot. We crunch the electric lizard to death. Emolga should go for aerial ace here. Two slashes for the kill, two slashes for the kill. That's the fifth badge, meaning we're about to get a fifth roll. Wait, I now realize I didn't smash or pass these Pokemon, so let's go through them real quick. Emolga, it's gonna be a pass for me. Magneton, super pass. That sounds really tough and painful. And then Heliolisk, it's also a pass. None of these Pokemon do it for me. Rule number five comes from my good friend Papa C, who posts the best Pokemon fact video on YouTube and that is a fact. Okay, let's see what he has for us. Hi Vivid, it's C. My rule for your Nuzlocke is you're not allowed to have Pokemon on your team that repeat colors. So every Bro, Pokemon I is given knew, one I color knew. by the Pokedex. Some of them don't make sense. So for example, you have a Pokemon that is red. You cannot have another red Pokemon on your team. There's a lot of colors to choose from, so good luck. I knew as soon as he said you can't have more than one, it was going to be a color thing. All right, Papa C, I see you. I know you've done these monocolor Nuzlocks in the past. I'll play along. I just did some research in the Pokedex, and it turns out half my Pokemon are brown. So I'm going to really have to figure out how to configure my team before I move forward. After sitting down and studying Pokedex color codes, I realized that Skiddo HG is really ruining our life right now because it's classified as a brown Pokemon, and most of the Pokemon I've caught in this playthrough so far have been brown. And the only reason I can use Crocorock right now is because even though she's a brown Pokemon, she'll evolve in two levels and turn into a red Pokemon. I have no purple Pokemon outside of Illumise, which is the only reason it's on the team. We have one yellow Pokemon in Beedrill, no red Pokemon. The only blue Pokemon we have are Galette and Wartortle. We have a decent amount of green Pokemon, but two of them are grass type. So in order to not double up on grass type weaknesses, I'll use Duosion for a while. We only have two white Pokemon in Zangoose and Butterfree, and I think Zangoose is wildly better. No blacks, no grays, and one pink in Wismer that turns into blue as soon as it evolves. So yeah, this rule is not hard at all. Thank you so much, Papa C. This isn't going to make my life super complicated or anything. No, this is really straightforward and easy to look up and not difficult. Let's get a little evolution train going. First off, Sirens evolves into Blastoise. Inner Shikari gets to evolve into Crocodile, which again is great because I love slightly bigger crocodilian creatures that also wear black sunglasses. Serena, for once, can I move on to a new area without having to fight you? Still a pass on the meow stick. Just a quick little dig to leave the cat six feet under. We're still smashing Absol, hasn't changed. Delphox, we're still gonna smash because it's still giving off witchy vibes and that's something that I'm into. Looks like we'll once again be relying on Emery to slash through the competition. Up, Serena, you're trash, stop fighting me. We have a one in five shot of a Gumi here, please, yes! Yes, love it. And now my medium-sized jelly baby just becomes the biggest jelly baby. I can't come up with a good joke for Valerie, so let's just hope her team is as bad as her outfit. Also, fun fact, this is the first battle in forever that Skiddo actually meets the level cap, so we can use the little dude this time. I just set up leech seeds with Skiddo though, and now it's out into Sirens, because I just realized something, nobody has told me I can't use Megas, and I have a Mega Blastoise just ready to wreck things. One Surf, Mawile down. Also, I keep forgetting, Mawile is a pass, too many teeth. Mr. Mime, is a super pass. Smashing Mr. Mime is nightmare fuel. That shouldn't even be allowed to be said in the same sentence. Okay, light screen's gonna slow this down a lot. Oh no, not the hyper potion. Valerie, I am trying to make progress. It's time for the hidden hero of my team right now, and that's Millionaires. That did a lot more than I thought it would. I think we outspeed. Bug Buzz! Oh, we don't outspeed. Oh, oh, that's the entire bug type dead. I don't know why I just didn't go out into inner Shikari here. It's because you have fairy type attacks. All right, this is also not a great play. Recover to heal off some damage, and then just hope a few Psy Shocks can get us there. Oh, j just one took that thing out. Okay, Sylveon hit the field, and I'm just gonna say it. I'm gonna take one for the team. Smash. Brandon, why was this your rule? All right, Sylveon's in. I'm gonna set up a future site, and then I'm gonna start going for Psy Shocks, and I think we got this. As it turns out, Jelly Baby is too good. 
All right, you go down this turn. Psyshock comes in, takes you to the red. You take the future sight, done. Oh my God, I forgot how much I love this Pokemon. That's the six badge, which as you know, means we get another rule. And this one, I have a feeling it's gonna be a doozy because it comes from K-Cray. K is a good friend and a great creator, but I fully expect this rule to be absolutely wild. Okay, K, what do you have for me? Hello, Vivid. Hello. And those of you watching Vivid suffer, my name We're is Kaylin. So I also go by K-Cray and my rule is a rule of cats. What does that mean? For every major battle, K. that means gym leader, K. elite four, what do you mean a rule of cats? and champion. K. Before each battle starts, before you click one move, K. What are you, you about have to, to say? go gather all of your cats and have them either in your lap, <laughs> in your arms, on your person, in no. some way. No, now, K. if at any point during the battle, all of the cats leave your lap, then you have to That's stop so the battle. <laughs> Go get your cats, gather Kay. them again, and do it all over. Okay, this is not possible. And, um, okay, this, this is, is admittedly this is actually a selfish rule impossible. I want to see your cats, but also I think it'll be really funny. It so won't good be. luck. <laughs> no, okay, hold on. Stop. No, time out. We, we're going to have to mulligan this rule, or at least make some tweaks to it. Okay, hold on. A few moments later. Okay, so I proposed an addendum to her rule and Kay agreed. So now instead of having all four of my cats, I'll have one to two of them on me at all times and I'll cycle through all four of them before I get to the end of the video. This is much more doable. I can hold a cat or two cats in play. I cannot hold all four of them. I just realized that I have to put my other bug types in the Shadow Realm as well because once we lost Millionaires, the entire type is dead. So that one death really cost me three Pokemon. It's a new day and we're about to go on a catching spree. And our Route 15 encounter is a Scorpy. Come on, just one quick ball. Let's get this over with. I don't want to have to attack you one and done oh you love to see that but before i catch my next pokemon i have to let my snot dragon evolve into a slightly bigger snot dragon the forgotten hotel encounter is a litwick which i am stoked for i love chandelure so much easy all right and our route 16 encounter is a weeping bell smash <laughs> and our frost cavern encounter is a, a bunch of ice cream cones. Oh boy. Okay, Scorpy is evolving into a Drapion, and for anyone who was curious as to how I can use Scorpy since it was a bug, I didn't really use it. I just let it soak up experience until it would evolve into Drapion, who is no longer a bug, so I don't consider the type dead. Route 17 encounter, please give me a Sneasel. It's the most useful thing on this route. Oh my. Going straight to the box. Yes, the little baby candle gets to turn into a lamp. Let's go. And for the back to back, the lamp gets to turn into a chandelier. And honestly, this is my favorite object Pokemon, like a Pokemon that's just based on a thing. It's been a minute, but I think it's time for Fall Out Boy to come out of retirement. It would be time for the seventh gym battle, but instead Serena has to ambush us at every other city. I came prepared. I bought a, I brought a cat. This is Iggy and he's obsessed with me. I don't know if you can you hear this purring. He's just purring loudly. Okay, we're still not smashing the meow stick, but we will set up leech seeds on it. It's time to implement my kind of weird strategy. Now that we have leech seeds set up, I'm just gonna try to set up with Drapion with acupressure because I think it's my only way to very cleanly beat Serena. This is a scary fight. I EV trained for this fight. Meow stick dies to the leech seed, and we have a very evasive and very offensive Drapion in play. Big damage, and we dodge the flamethrower. Oh man! All right, poison fang again. Uh, Serena, that's what we call getting got. Now it's time for the seventh gym battle. I grabbed Light. He's another one of my kitties. He's a very good boy. He's very sweet. Also, once again, Skiddo managed to get over leveled, so I cannot use it in this fight, but that's okay. It probably would not have been very good. Sigilyph's up first, and I'll smash it just for the weird factor, I guess. I'm gonna give Sirens a shot here. I feel like Mega Blastoise would do very good. Let's see how much Surf does through a light screen. It lowered my special defense. That's not good. Okay, um, let's try Alexis is on fire. I flinched, and then I flinched again? I just need to set up a light screen. Come on, Jelly Baby, pull through. There we go. I think the goal here is just to try and set up with Emery and win. And the Psychic does nothing through light screen? Too easy. Swords Dance number two. And now, I think we can just start slashing. Two Swords Dances should be enough here. Slow King is a pass, too slow. Slow King is donezo. Okay, as always, we are going to pass on the Meow Stick. I do not want to smash this cat. I may have never put enough respect on Zangoose's name, but this thing's actually pretty good. Come here. Iggy wanted to be here for the final hit. Lito's still roaming around. Wait, I'll get them both. Mind your manners. Oh, they don't like this. <laughs> and that's why I can't hold four cats on my body at once. But I was gonna say, I got two 
cats, one for the moms, and one for the dad. And just to be inclusive for the Imbies out there, I have four cats. That is the seventh badge, which means we get our seventh rule. And I am terrified because these rules are really stacking up at this point. Oh good, before we react to the seventh rule, I forgot that every time you get the seventh gym badge in a Pokemon game, the entire story of the game unfolds, and that's what's happening here. So our seventh rule comes from my great friend Kyle A, and let me tell you, this man has never lost. Met him in the draft league community, been really good buds ever since. All right, Kyle, what do you have for me? What's up, gamers? Yeah. Kyle A here, and thank you, Vivid, for inviting me of to course, be a part brother. of this. Of to try course. and, you know, throw you off, mess you up. And real quick, before I do give out my challenge, I just want to say to everybody viewing, thank you, and please subscribe. Subscribe to Vivid. It's super easy, it's free, and I want my boy to reach all of his dreams and Thank goals you. here on YouTube. The content what is fire, soul. okay? But enough of that. What I am challenging you to do is actually test your teamwork skills. Okay. I wanna see if you can complete this, this is without gonna be, allowing this is gonna be tough. Pokemon on your team to get more than two KOs yeah. each. Yeah, okay, it's okay? gonna be Unless, tough. of course, it's God. unavoidable. Like, if you only have one Pokemon left okay. and you're battling your whole team or something like that, but if you have the option, I want to see if you can let nothing get more so than no two more KOs. So no more sweeps. Each Pokemon battle, can only get two so KOs. I got to see some switching oh around here. I want to see God. some teamwork. I want to see different things on the screen. I'm trying to see some back sprites. Let's get to it, man. Setting up and sweeping is just so consistent, and now I can't do that. So congrats to you, Kyle. You kind of took my last crutch away. All right, moving on, we have the story to plow through. Okay, so we could go through all of Lysander Labs and everything that leads up to the climax of the game, or we could just skip to the climax of the game. We're gonna fight Lysander three times in the span of 10 minutes. Let's just skip to the last one. I think maybe it's time for my little baby boy to get another shot. So Chiodos, you're back on the team, maybe, for a minute. The final fight versus Lysander, who's gone Doc Ock mode. Let me grab my cat. Okay, this is Nemo. He's a pretty boy. He looks a lot like Light because they're twin brothers. Um, he hates being held, but he's here. First up is Mean Chow. It's a pass for me. Leading off with Skiddo HG is such a bummer in this fight, and I think I have to bank on him living in acrobatics, but we are well above his level, and we're holding an Eviolite, so let's see if we can set up the Leech Seed. Oh, it just goes for high jump kick? That's kind of bonkers. Flamethrower. You're gonna go for Dark Pulse, I'm gonna go into Inner Shikari. Now I think we just start crunching. Another crunch should take it out, then we get our Moxie boost, and then maybe we can take out the Haunch Crow? Haunch Crow is a pass, none of these Pokemon are doing it for me. Let's just Mega and then Surf. Okay, just like that, Haunch Crow down. Gyarados though? Bro, smash, it feels like a power play. One Pokemon left, it's the Mega Gyarados, the most intimidating Pokemon this guy has, uh, pun intended. I do believe I'm ready for this Gyarados though, and this is why I added Chiodos back to the team. His defense stat should theoretically let him wear this thing down with just the combination of Leech Seed, Bulk Up, and Spiky Shield. I am so sorry, Lysander. This was never your moment, bud. Bye bye, Lysander. Bye bye. Hey, we finally got a bigger Snot Dragon. The Route 16 encounter is a Torkoal, which is actually pretty sweet. I love the turtle. Okay, it's time for the eighth badge, and once we beat Wolfric, we unlock our final rule, which is both terrifying and exciting. Okay, all right, you can have down. You can have down. Just chill out, little buddy. It's gonna be okay. I promise we're gonna win. Maybe. We still have to lead with Skiddo into all ice types, which is terrible, but. He is the level cap, so I could technically use him, even though it's a really bad idea. A bomb of snow is gonna be a smash for me. I mean, it's just a big Christmas tree. That seems pleasant. We're gonna go on to newcomer August Burns Red, uh, because we resist everything a bomb of snow does, and we can whittle it down. Ice Beam did so much. Okay, never mind. I have to switch out into Blastoise here. Another crunch will finish it off for sure, though. Easy. Cryogonal, much like Sigilyph, is also gonna be a smash just for the weird factor. Start spamming Calm Minds, baby. Kale stops me from using one Pokemon to sweep an entire team, but he can't stop me from using one Pokemon to sweep the last two Pokemon. I think we're good here. Easy. Now I guarantee you the stupid ice table is going down because its special defense stat is bad. It's just a really bulky ice type, but only physically bulky. Avalug is a hard pass for me. This thing's just a coffee table that someone allowed to get way too cold. No thank you. Heck yeah, dude. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. You have too many thoughts. Eight badges down, and now we get our last rule for the run. Rule eight comes from Grim Who. He's one of my really good friends in this community. I've known him for a long time. Super lovable, super adorable guy. And I'm gonna say this right now, and probably again at the end of the video, but all of my friends that gave me rules, you should definitely go check them all out. Their links will be in the description down below. Go show them love. Okay, Grim, 
How are you gonna send me off, brother? So you made it to the eighth gym. Yep. Good job. Thank you. Now let's make it a little bit more interesting. What's up, guys? I'm Grim. I'm a Pokemon content creator, but more importantly, I'm Vivid's friend. I'm not here to promote my work, but if you guys want to check it out, I'm sure Vivid dropped it in the description. It will be. You it. should go, go look ahead at and it. get into this challenge. Vivid, I've sent you a care package. Feel free to open it now if you haven't already. But the I, contents of the I care have the package box. will be for this challenge. If you guys don't know, there's a series on YouTube called Hot Ones. No. Uh, it's a brother. game show or like an interviewing. Kind of it's hot sauce in the box. Where I've just been holding on to hot sauce. Questions. They eat hot wings, and it gets more and more spicy as it continues. I took that notion and I twisted it a little bit to fit our objective here. For each of the elite four members, and before the champion fight, you're going to take a bite of something that has the hot sauces that I've sent you on it. Start with the weakest link. And you'll work your way to the hottest sauce for the champion fight. I want to see if you can withstand the heat, keep cool, and push through to victory. Good luck, man. Okay, honestly, this rule is insane because this Elite Four battle was already going to be hard, and now I have to balance that with my mouth being on fire. We have one rival battle to get through, and then it's the Elite Four, so let's go beat Serena one last time, and then let's just do this. Let's beat the game. This is my cat for Serena. This is Pippin. He's a good boy. We're kind of like... Uh, distant acquaintances at best. All right, Serena, this is your last chance to do something meaningful in this playthrough. This is your last chance to steal one of my Pokemon from me. The pressure, it's on. I'm gonna decide not to set up Leech Seed and instead just go straight out into Drapion and start setting up on this thing. I know he can only take out two Pokemon, but I'm fine with that. We're behind a substitute and stacked. One Cross Poison is gonna take out this Meowstic. Yes, this is so good. I guarantee you a Cross Poison is taking this thing out. Oh, it lived on like four. Cross Poison, and that is Delphox down. Also, this being Serena's only new Pokemon, just know I would smash. Okay, we're low, but we're behind a sub. This Shadow Ball is going to take this bird out. And now, uh, please send in the Absol. I think that would be best case scenario. Yes! Okay, good. It's a KO. All Serena has left is Jolteon and... A crunch? A singular crunch at plus one attack? It's not living that. Let's go! Okay. This is it. It's time for the Elite Four. I have to settle on a team, and we're gonna do this. I have my wings ready. I'm ready to go. Okay, I'm headed into the Elite Four, and Iggy is gonna be the cat we'll be rocking out with. He's gonna be my ride or die through all four, and then the champion. The team I'll be using for the Elite Four is Skiddo, Crocodile, Chandelure, Reuniclus, Blastoise, and Gudra. I think this was the best mix I had. I don't have a ton of speed, but I don't have a ton of speed in my box either. This also lets me not double stack types on my team in case I lose a Pokemon, so so that both aren't dead. I'm gonna start off with Malva because I think she'll be the hardest Elite Four member, but also the Fire Room makes sense to start off with when you take into account that I have to eat Hot Wings. This is my tray of wings, mildest over here, hottest over here. We're gonna be going down the line, I'm gonna eat two wings before each Elite Four member. Grim, you're lucky I love you. Also, yes, I'm using a fork because I don't wanna have to wipe down my hands between every wing. Okay, here we go. This is just a little tinge of heat, just a little tickle. Why is it starting off much harder than I thought it would? Am I gonna be okay? Having to lead off with Skiddo is terrible. I don't like it. But it is what it is. Flash fire kicks in. Origuchi. I'm just gonna try and flamethrow this thing. It has to go for like Volt Tackle or something. Also, female Pyro I would smash. Earlier I said I wouldn't smash the male one. It just looks too aggressive. The female one's actually quite nice. Torkoal, not gonna smash it. I think I have to roll these dice. Okay, good. All right, Torkoal down. Chandelure, this is why we're in a tough spot. Also, smash. <laughs> Shadow Ball, that's your first actual attack. Oh, that does nothing. The special defense is too high. All right, Draco kills. This thing's done. My lips are tingling a little bit. That one was mild. Please don't live. Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse. Brave Bird. Chip yourself down. Always at one HP, baby. You love to see it. Okay, I shouldn't have stayed in. That was definitely a roll, but you love to see it. Malva down, next Elite Four member. All right, I'm gonna take on Wickstrom next, but we have a wing teat. I'm also only gonna eat one wing per heat because it took way too long for me to eat two last time. Okay, here we go. Big bites only. Okay, tiny little bit of a ramp up there. Let me go for Elite Seat on turn one. If I can prevent this thing from setting up spikes, that would be fantastic. Maybe by like bulking up to plus six, I can get two kills with Skiddo. Ooh, I feel it. I feel it on my lips. That's Klefki down with just Skiddo. Skiddo getting a hard kill. A kill he earned all his own. That's that's incredible. We're we're beating the big bad steel types with our lowly little grass goat. It's happening. If you had told me going into this fight that Skiddo was gonna get two kills, I would have called you insane. All right, Flygon, maybe your boy's good. Skiddo actually coming in and getting two kills and then wearing down Aegislash? 
That's, that's everything. That's the whole world. Age of Slash down. One more crunch and this is our fight? Oh my God. I thought Wickstrom was gonna literally be a wall. Just a steel wall. Okay, here we go. The last wing was definitely a little bit of a ramp up from the first one. I think this one is close to double the Scoville scale of the second wing. So we might be in for it. <laughs> okay, let's get it. <laughs> let's get started. That's a really gradual increase in heat. Okay, I think you have to- oh my god. I think you have to go for Sludge Bomb. Oh my god. That's great. We can start- oh my god. We can start setting up Calm Mines. The Surf shouldn't do that much damage. I just need you not to crit. I shouldn't even say it out loud. It's a tragedy. Chandelier's special attack stat is through the roof. We're fine. I was made for this challenge. I was born to kill it. Okay, Altaria down. Chandelier can't get any more kills. That's fine. This won't kill, but the point is to get damage on it. Good, this is good. I have um, really bad heartburn <laughs> as a human. I need water. Oh, the water makes it worse. Yeah, 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 the water makes it worse. Love that. Psy Shock should kill this thing. I think it's going down to one Psy Shock here. You love to see it. We have one Elite Four member left. This is going much better than expected. And finally, it's Wet Socks the Room. We've got wing number four on deck. This one is a big ramp up from everything else and I am worried because the last one made me tear up a little bit. Okay, here we go. That was really good flavor. Okay, mm-hmm. This one's definitely hitting in the throat, the, the throatal region. Uh, let's hit him with the leech seed. Almost assuredly, I should have put toxic on. Holy, okay. Yeah, this one's fun. Oh, wow. Grim, we, we have to have a discussion. Am I okay? All right, Iggy, you wanna see Blastoise get the first kill? There it is, baby. First kill of Seabold. Oh, this is really fun and also cool. That earthquake didn't do a ton. Get the burn. Get the burn. Yes, a crit burn is done. Blastoise, two kills. And then we really, really hope that Draco Meteor is enough to kill. It is not, but it is close. Then it's just Starmie. How are we getting through Starmie? I think we switch into Reuniclus and then set up Calm Minds and we win from there. One more Psy Shock. And that's the entire Elite Four. I just have the champion left. Okay, that is Starmie down, Seabold down, last Elite Four member down. We're going to the champion. We're ready to do this. Also, I realized I didn't do Smash or Pass for any of the Elite Four members Pokemon. So before I go talk to Diantha, let's run through them real quick. The Talonflame would not smash. Birds are weird. Klefki, smash uh, for the weird factor. Probo pass, hard pass. Too big of a mustache. Scizor, pass. Aegislash, uh, it feels aggressive. Pass. Dragology, seems kind of disgusting. Pass. Altaria, you know it's a smash. Dredagon, it is a pass. I don't know. I think its head looks weird. Noivern, it's a smash? I don't know. It's kind of cute, right? Clotzer, it's a pass. It's a crustacean. That that doesn't sound okay. Starmie, hard smash. Love starfish. <laughs> Love Starmie. Gyarados, again, smash for the power move. Barbacool is one of the ugliest things I've ever seen in my life. Haluch is a smash. I mean, come on. What's under the mask, big dog? Tyrantrum's a smash just because it's such a power play. Gorgeist is a hard pass. I hate this Pokemon. I do not like it. Aurorus is pretty elegant. We'll smash. Gudra is a dragon that is legitimately dripping snot. It's a pass. Gardevoir? <sighs> Bro, calm the f on. It's a smash. We're on to wing five and I brought the hot sauce up to do the thing. Got a nice little coating there and we're gonna down this and then take on the champion. This wing is a substantial increase once again. I'm honestly pretty nervous, but you know what? Cheers. Let's let's get this bread, gamers. <coughs> I'm for sure gonna get the hiccups. I have the worst hiccups on planet Earth. I think I have just, oh my God. I'm crying. Oh, I'm burping. There's a piece of wing stuck in my tooth. I'm setting up a leech seed. I have to go ahead to Chandelier. Holy, <coughs> I'm so sorry. Oh my God, set up a calm mine. Oh my God, holy God. Okay, if Chandelier dies here, I don't care. I don't think I can care. Oh my god. Let's go into Inner Shikari. I think I'm doing a little better. I might have put too much on that. You can't leech seed grass types? My mouth is so hot I can't remember. No, you can't. 
Okay, Trick or Treat, you're not living this Draco Meteor. I have regained composure. Trick Room is up, one Psy Shock should do the Aurora Sin. The Gudra, we're just gonna do the same thing to it. I think we just have to Psy Shock it. Mega Gardevoir is on the field, and I know I can't kill it with Reuniclus, but I can stall for a while. Okay, so the trick is to set Trick Room back up. That's step one. Step two, switch into Skiddo HG. Don't die to a Shadow Ball. Step two, done. Step three is to Leech Seed. Oh no, you dodged. Oh no. Go for Water Pulse. Okay, we outspeed in Trick Room. Water Pulse, you're confused. Hit yourself in confusion. You didn't hit yourself in confusion. I think we just have to go for Thunderbolt. It's reliable. Hit yourself. Oh my God, you don't have full restores, do you? Oh my God, you have full restores. Please lower your accuracy. We have a chance. Miss. No, you didn't miss. Live. Oh my God. Please tell me you outspeed. Earthquake. Yes, that's it. That's what I like to see. We just won. That's Gardevoir down. That's Diantha down. That is five hot wings down. And that is abiding by eight extra rules. I'm not going to lie. When I came into the Elite Four, I really didn't think I could do this. I thought I was going to lose. I think Skiddo finally deserves this moment. You did good, buddy. I just want to say thank you to all of my friends who sent me rules. Y'all are legitimately the best. This wouldn't have happened without you. Please be sure to check them out. All of their links will be in the description down below. And if you haven't already, please consider clicking the subscribe button. I'm halfway to 100k subs and I'm super stoked to hit that milestone. And also leave a like if you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed this new style of content. If this is something people like, I will 100% do more of them. Okay, that's all I have for you. I have to go ride Skittos for an hour. It's not going to be on video, but I'll post a clip on Twitter. Follow me there to see it. Okay, thank you. Bye.